Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round Em Up. It's going to be October 21st for sale. 10K and under, over 30 different. 1968 through 1972 Pontiac GTO Le Mans Tempest. This search request comes from multiple subscribers to our channel. Like these subscribers, classic car you're looking for. It's free and easy to do. Just subscribe, drop in the comments below the make and the model, and I'll round them up for you. Thanks for tuning in. First time viewers, you heard that all correctly. We're looking for cars that are currently listed for sale for what our subscribers request. This one you see right here is not the only car for sale, but it's the one I would go check out if I was looking to buy a 68 to 72 GTO. So let's get on with the ones we did find. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. That's the two platforms we're on. I don't own any of the cars, but I have put them in price order from lowest to highest. Very first one's going to kick us off. 1968 Pontiac GTO Coupe 2D. 750 bucks a week ago, Wisconsin. So that's exactly how you're going to find this ad, just like all these cars that are on this search as of the 21st are listed for sale on either one of the platforms. You see it. That looks rough. 750 bucks? You tell me. Looking for some parts? Does he have a title? He does not have a title. It does say it's a real GTO with tags. I mean, 1968 Pontiac Tempest. Two grand listed two weeks ago. And this one's going to be in California. Sitting in a garage. I dig that. It does say clean title. Also comes with two front fenders, GTO fenders. Obviously, it's been sideswiped pretty good. But again, I do like that it's sitting inside the garage. And the price, two grand. Two weeks ago, California. That might be your pick right there. Get you a quarter and a door. 1972 Pontiac Luxury Le Mans. It's two grand, 13 weeks ago, Indiana. It's been sitting for 30 years. I like that it's all together. So, boom, I dig it for sure. I would always prefer buying a project car, even if it's rusty, all together. It's looking pretty much all together and pretty rough. Two grand, 13 weeks ago, Indiana for the luxury Le Mans. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans Safari. 2500 bucks listed four weeks ago, PA. We didn't find many cars in this search today. But this is a very expensive car to try to get, whether it be a Tempest, a Le Mans, or a GTO, obviously. Got a Chevy Rally on the back, Pontiac Rally on the front. No title. So how is it worth 2500 I don't know. Maybe it's a good derby car. 1969 Pontiac Le Mans three grand also looked like it was picked if you're not getting the parts with that I don't know about 2,500 bucks listed two weeks ago Minnesota unless you got one that shell was solid I don't know you'll have to look these cars up they don't belong to me again I can't say that enough so many people think that I own all the cars in the episodes it's incredible <laughs> but again I get it if you haven't seen our videos in the last three years we've been doing these searches well I don't know what to say, you know. Blame YouTube for not putting me on the algorithm. You guys seeing us listing cars that you could have bought. So, looking for a 69. It was three grand. It was two weeks ago. It was Minnesota. Don't look bad. The photos we went through, the dash is still in it. The interior is pulled. No front clip, no engine, no trans. Probably for that kind of price. There's a title if you want to read it out. But you always want to contact people and look them up before you try to uh, just call somebody with the phone number you see in one of my videos. 1969 Pontiac Le Mans SE Aero Coupe 2D, Connecticut, 3500 bucks. Looks rough. I mean, does anybody have a good explanation why people do this? Strip all the paint off, then put it outside. It just doesn't make sense. This thing is so rotted now on the panels that at one time it was probably worth fixing. It did have an engine sitting in there. You have to read it out. He has the doors and the nose and a title in hand, so I dig that it's got a title. It's Connecticut. It's $3,500. Give me 1972 Pontiac Le Mans, $3,500, 13 weeks ago, Florida. 13 weeks, this one's been on here with only two photos, Florida. Two-door parts car, good engine, trans, lots of good parts, $3,500. On our first Craigslist ad, it's going to be 1968 Pontiac GTO Coupe 242. So he's got it listed out, $3,800. It's going to be in Missouri. This is that junkyard, but I know we've showed this car before. I think at one time it said no title, and then I think it said it had a title last time we looked at it. Clean title. So two days ago, that's why we showed it. It's on Marketplace, so every 30 days he keeps reposting it. Hit him up. You're looking for a shell with a title, GTO, 3800 bucks. 
I have a hard time paying that for that. So we're going to be on Craigslist again, 1968 Pontiac Le Mans convertible. And they even put convertible in the listing. Five grand, 29 days ago. So one more day before it gets reposted or it's no longer on here. So you have to look it up right away. Hopefully you've rung the no notification bell that's right below, somewhere right below there. And it keeps you informed every time we drop a new video. So you'd have to watch this video as soon as I put it out. 30 days, it'll have one day on here before he'll have to relist it or it'll be gone. On to another Craigslist looking for a convertible. It was under four grand, right? 1970 Pontiac Le Mans, five grand, two days ago. Again, Craigslist. It's going to be in Colorado. Got some nice chrome trailer wheels on it. Wagon wheels, four door, vinyl tops peeling off. Tell me, looking for a four door? Denver area, we found you one. It's all together. It might even run and drive. It's got a title. A little word to get her up and running is what it says. One more here on Craigslist before we go back to Facebook Marketplace. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans Sport. See description in parentheses. That's how you type it up. 5500 bucks, And it's going to be in Phoenix, Arizona. Should be able to tell that by the paint, right? Hasn't been shot up a million times. Got some custom tuck and roll type interior in there. It's got Chevy rallies on it. I don't know. It don't look bad. It's $5,500. It's been out here for two weeks. Want to read it out? There it is. But always look them up before you contact somebody. Just to be sure they're still listed, right? These are for sale. Someone could buy it at any minute. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans, two-door, $5,500, seven weeks ago, Arizona. With that said, though, we've already seen one that was on episodes before from years back, and it's still being posted every 30 days on Craigslist. I like the Craigers. It don't look bad, 5500 bucks. You're going to have to step up for one of these cars. So you tell me, is that your area? Arizona, seven weeks ago. Give me a 1970 Pontiac Le Mans Sport, 5500 bucks on this one. South Carolina, it's been here for 13 weeks. I love those Pontiac rallies on there. It does have an engine in it, along with a lot of pine needles. A little bit of rust. It didn't look all rusted out. Actually, looks like it might be a good deal. It has rebuilt motor years ago. So years ago, it was rebuilt. Years ago, it was new. Check him out. Hit him up. If it's something that you're interested in, South Carolina, 5500 on that one. At least you're getting the rallies in an engine, right? Then 1968, Pontiac Le Mans, six grand, 15 weeks ago. This one's in Maryland. And we're back to Facebook Marketplace. Got the GTO hood laying there, convertible top. So what was it? It must be a rag top, right? Got some lower fender patches. No engine, no trans. It's got floors in it still. It's got the interior. It looks a better deal than the other one, right? Oh, you tell me. There's an engine laying there all ripped apart along the transmission. Six grand Maryland. It's been here for 15 weeks. 1969 Pontiac GTO, 6,500 bucks, 11 weeks, California. Again, I'm just showing you where they're at. If I was going to have one of these GTOs, I would want a 69 or a 68. But that's me. This car is pretty sweet. Looks like it was a four-speed. The dash was stripped apart. It don't look bad. $6,500, California. That competes with the pick of the day, probably. Right there. California, 11 weeks. So the title will be the biggest thing. No engine, no transmission in this. It has a clear title in his name. So I dig it. Looking for a 69, California, right there. Boom. You're welcome. That's what we do. Find classic cars for you. 1969, Pontiac GTO 242 VIN. That's how he's got it printed up, 6500 bucks. 13 weeks ago, St. Petersburg, Florida. Got the quarter cut off already. Fender had some big dings in it. The funnest car I restored for somebody was a 68 GTO. I actually used a set of fenders and cut the fender flares off and fixed the quarters without replacing the quarter panels because of just small holes around the wheel well lip. Cool car. I don't know. You know, it depends on your budget. How much do you got for a project car? This is going to be a hell of a project just to move it home. There's no rear end in it. 1968 Pontiac GTO Coupe 2D, 6,500, 14 weeks ago, Wisconsin. I like the rallies. I like the color paint, too. It's actually the color that I restored that car. I have a video over here on the restoring them up. So if you look on my video, I've got different playlists of cars I've restored throughout my life. And this was one of the coolest ones I've done. So 68 GTO. It's pretty rough. And quarters of the fenders are definitely rougher. This is the fender. That's the same wheel well lip around the back quarter, in case you didn't know. 
14 hours ago, Wisconsin. 1970, Pontiac Tempest, 6,800 bucks on the money. Listed 16 weeks ago. This one's going to be in Alabama. I like the blue paint. I like that it's all together. It's a Le Mans. It says GM Goodrich, GMC Goodrich Long Block 350. So it's got a Pontiac engine in it or a Chevy engine. I would guess that that's a uh, 350 Chevy. Uh, it sure looks like it. But I don't know. You'd have to hit him up to ask him. It's not my car. It's been here for 16 weeks. $6,800. Could be 1970 Pontiac Le Mans SE Aero Coupe. 2D. 6850 on the money. Says dealership. 24 weeks ago, Georgia. Man, I don't like the color at all. So I'd be flat black in this with some rattle can right away. Don't like that Grant steering wheel either, but I do dig the bucket seats and console. I like that it's all together. 350 probably with a uh, two-barrel carb. Solid car, runs and drives, solid floors, trunk, few places on the hood and the bottom of the door, 400 automatic. Boom. Tell me. Just can't get past that color of paint. Pick yourself up a case of aerosol flat black on the way home. 1969 Pontiac Le Mans GTO 7500 San Diego got the Punisher up on the hood custom grill like the rallies and the flat back paint that's that looks so much better than that last car we just looked at I like that rear end cover it says GTO in it it looks like a pretty decent car so I dig it I even like the aftermarket steering wheel compared to those Grant ones but I don't like those racing seats. That's going to be really uncomfortable. 7500 bucks. I don't know. San Diego, California was the area. And definitely looks good in flat black. Said nose don't line up that fender very well. So on to our last Craigslist ad. 1971 Pontiac Le Mans Sport. Eight grand. This car looks actually really good. Still had some of the interior laying in there. Trunk full of parts. Engine still in it. Got some stuff pulled apart on it. Where are we going for this one? It's going to be Michigan. So we've got one in Michigan. It don't look bad. Imagine that. It is in some primer. So it's hard to say how much body work's already been done to it. Only way to know is to go check it out. It was updated eight days ago. You can always check that on the bottom of a Craigslist ad. And that was our last Craigslist ad. Back to Facebook Marketplace. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans. Eight grand Washington. This one went on four days ago. Got some nice chrome wheels on there along with some... Uh, Garden hose clear. I like the Pontiac valve covers. I like the steering wheel. Got some holes in the floors. I don't know. I don't see eight grand. By any means, by any stretch of the imagination, there's no way I would give eight grand for that. 1969 Pontiac Le Mans SE Aero Coupe 2D 8250. Maybe this is better. Not by much. It's got some drag lights on it, rust and trunk jam. It's all together. I do have a set of those the hubcaps right there. Sure do. I got a set of four of those. Steel rims in the trunk. I don't know. Some SST, some drag lights on the front. I don't see 8250. That's me. And if it's what you're looking for, Alabama's the area six weeks ago. Be skeptical if you're even going to get a title in Alabama. But there it is. You want to read it out? The 1969 Pontiac GTO Coupe 2D 8500. There ain't no way. So that's me. If you're looking for one that looks like that for $8,500, bucks, you are welcome. I don't know who the hell would pay $8,500 for that. It's been here 11 weeks. 1968 Pontiac Le Mans SE Aero Coupe, $8,900. Why'd you not buy this over that last one? This car looks great. I think we've showed this car before. 29 weeks, I'm pretty sure we have. It's in Ohio. I don't like the GT wheel. That's just me. I don't like GT steering wheels. Compared to the original steering wheel in here, it's just an eyesore. It's got a trunk in it, somewhat. Beautiful painted engine. Freshly can rebuilt. I like the color that they painted the engine too. So it's a cool car. It's just, it's $8,900. 29 weeks. It's hard to believe it's a deal. Been on here 29 weeks. 1968 Pontiac GTO Coupe 2D, nine grand, listed six weeks ago. We're going to be in New York. That last one looked a lot better than this. But hey, that's me. Looking to build a drag car, street car. I guess that's what this is going to be. It's got a Ford 9-inch in it that's all bulletproofed. 
Had a rack and pin steering in it, tilt front end for it. One piece, plus got the original nose. What are you looking to build? That's a lot for a project, nine grand. 1970 Pontiac GTO Coupe 2D, nine grand, 34 weeks ago. How's it gonna be a deal if it's been out here 34 weeks? I just don't see it. And being stripped apart like this, it's like a $2,500 car to me. Uh, is it even a GTO? Pontiac GTO. So maybe it is a real goat. There's a nose laying there. I don't know. I just don't see it. And what is a quarter panel cut off of it? The fenders are off of it. I don't see it. I just don't. You know, but if it's you and that's what you're wanting to spend your money on, 34 weeks, I'm not the only one that feels that way. 1969 Pontiac GTO Ram Air 3 4 speed. Love that. 9,500, can't get there fast enough. It's rough. There's your engine, four speed, and everything's sitting there, and you've seen it. Are you getting two cars? Because that don't look like the same car. I have no idea. You'd have to reach out and contact him. That might be a great deal. 9,500. There are two separate GTOs for sale. One price, you get both cars. So, boom, two of them. 9,500, Arkansas. That's your pick of the day. For sure. 1969 Pontiac Le Mans 9500 again this is going to be in Missouri some aluminum trailer wheels orange paint you know I dig that no engine no trans no way but that's me clean title very solid car and again the prices on these go up to just astronomical prices on some of these cars and I get it when it's original and it's up parts matching I get it some of them are worth a lot of money but some of these clones that guys are trying to get money out of no way man you build a clone so you can drive it. 1968 Pontiac Le Mans. We actually went 10.5 Alabama. So 10 cash, get it? It probably would. Would I spend that for this? Man, I have a hard time giving 10 for a car with three photos that look like that. But that said, this was a hard search. We didn't find a lot of cars. And even this one that's on my pick of the day, we've showed it before. So has he come down on a price? I don't know. But here we go. Facebook Marketplace, 1968 Pontiac GTO 6500 Georgia. George got the pick. He's been posting this car for sale for a long time. Go back and watch old searches. It's on there. I don't know if I made it pick of the day then, but it's the pick of the day today. Because the 68 is what I would want. This has a clean title. Want to go drag racing? You could do that. Or you could put it back on the street. 68 GTO project car. Real GTO. Real GTO VIN number still in tag. Very solid roller. With nice floors, quarters, and HRA, super stock race car. Most of its life, not tub, nice frame, has a cage, removable, no engine, no trans included, was a four speed new. Have additional 68 parts as well, a parts car, or two easily put back to street car. But that said, this gentleman's got a lot of cool Pontiac stuff for sale. So you can tell in some of these photos, the back, there's just Pontiacs throughout his whole backyard. So if you're a Pontiac guy, in the area of Georgia, looking for a 68 GTO. That's the one I'd go check out right there. So this is a really cool search. A lot of cool requests from all you guys. You guys all request cool stuff. We've been doing what's requested the most here lately. We are going to come out with some more searches, hopefully here right away. So be sure to hit the notification bell. We might have multiple videos dropping on the same day just to get caught up a little bit more on what we got requested. But man, today was a terrible day for me. So I hope it didn't come off terrible. All you guys appreciate, love every one of you that watch all the time. I just mailed out some eBay stuff last week. The guy hit me up and said, oh man, I didn't put my PO box number on there. My postmaster's off. They didn't know to not grab my stuff. They returned it to you. Could you please return it? I don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? So I sent it back to the guy. He drops negative feedback today saying that it still hasn't arrived. I just don't understand the negativity in people. I really don't. The worst thing you could do on a car that you're trying to sell I won't respond to if it's available. That's just the most ignorant thing you could say. You don't have to be mean to people. You really don't to sell stuff. Like always, thanks for watching. Till next time, be good, stay safe, and peace out.